Many of us go to work day to day, day in and day out, working for the things we need. And this is good. But have you ever stopped and realized that you are only working for temporary things? We pay one bill and next month there's another. We buy groceries one week and the same next week and the same next week and so on. We work very hard for something so temporary, don't we? If you think about it, it's kind of sad. While we cannot stop this cycle, it is part of life. But God wants us to do something else much more valuable and everlasting, something much more profitable. We need to let God provide food for our souls. That is the title of today's lesson. Let God provide food for our souls. Jesus tells us in John chapter 6, verse 27, not to labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which he, the Son of Man, will give. Verse 35, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Verse 36, But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. So there is routine work, but there is also godly work. Routine work is that never-ending cycle I described earlier. And there is also godly labor or work. This type of work will give us everlasting life. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know which is the better deal, now does it? God is saying, let me, God, provide food for your soul. Question, how do we get this food? Verse 28 says, Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. So we find in these verses we have to do our part in getting this food for the soul. That is, our part is to believe in Jesus Christ. We must believe he is the only son of a God, and we must then be willing to obey him. Now listen very closely. This is step one. There are four more vital steps one must do to get and enjoy food for the soul. One must hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized into Jesus Christ. We'll talk about these in much more details later. So what is your attitude when you hear these words from Jesus? The Bible says in verse 34, Lord, give us this bread always. As you can see, most of these people who heard these words had a wonderful, great, and responsive attitude to Jesus when he had said these things. But many did not. Look at verse 41. The Jews then complained about him because he had said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. Verse 42 said, and they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he says, I have come down from heaven? Drop down to verse 52. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Look at verse 66. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. As you can see here, many had a terrible attitude and walked away from Jesus. What is your attitude when you hear the truth from God and Jesus? If you have the right attitude, then you will eat of Jesus' food for the soul. Then God will draw you into a deeper, closer relationship verse 44 says no one can come to me unless the father who sent me 
draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. We need to understand how Jesus draws us. The Bible says in verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught by God. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me, Jesus. To draw close to God, we must be taught of God. We must become students of his word, and by trusting it, we're trusting him. On this website, we will always give you book, chapter, and verse about anything we say. Therefore, you can trust that God is talking to you, and his word is getting into your heart. When we do these things, when we learn God's word, we will reap the benefits of God's food for the soul. Let God provide. He'll feed your soul. Let God now it's your turn. Provide. Click the red banner to the left and take the quiz that is on this webpage. Don't worry, it's open book. And you can go back and look at this video. Also, you can look at the written version of this video as well. Good luck and continue to draw closer to God. See you on the next video. And remember, let God provide. Feed your soul. Let God provide. He'll feed your soul.